If you have been diagnosed with breast cancer, one of the things you may need as part of your treatment is called a sentinel lymph node biopsy. And this is where a few lymph nodes are removed from your armpit or your axilla, as we also call it. So what does it involve? Why do you need it? And what can you expect after the surgery? Stay tuned to find out more. Hi, my name is Dr. Tasha and I'm a breast cancer surgeon here to help you understand all things related to breast cancer and breast health. So, what is a sentinel lymph node biopsy? This is actually a surgical procedure that we perform to find out whether breast cancer has spread to the lymph nodes. I don't really know why it's called a biopsy because it is actually an operation that is done under general anesthetic. And it's normally done at the same time as the breast cancer operation, but occasionally it is done separately as well. Breast cancer, if it's going to spread, normally goes to the glands in the armpit first. If you look in the dictionary, a sentinel is a guard, a lookout, a person keeping watch. And in the context we are talking about, the sentinel lymph node is the first lymph node to which cancer cells are likely to spread from the primary tumor. In other words, it's from the rest. And in some cases, there may be more than a sentinel node. They could be a few. The sentinel lymph node biopsy involves identifying, removing, and then examining these sentinel nodes to check for the presence of cancer cells. If the sentinel nodes are free of cancer, it is likely they haven't spread to other nodes in the axilla. So why might you need a sentinel lymph node biopsy? The primary reason is to stage breast cancer accurately. Knowing whether cancer has spread to the lymph node is important for deciding best course of treatment and it can help in so many ways. Staging the cancer, because by knowing the extent of cancer spread, this will influence treatment decisions. It can also help guide treatment. So if cancer is found in the sentinel lymph nodes, additional treatments like chemotherapy, radiotherapy, or further lymph node removal might be necessary. And it can help in reducing the extent of surgery. If the sentinel lymph nodes are cancer-free, more extensive surgery, such as an auxiliary lymph node clearance, may not be needed, and therefore reducing the risk of complications like lymphedema, which is swelling due to lymph fluid buildup. So what does the procedure entail? The sentinel lymph node biopsy typically occurs at the same time as the primary breast cancer surgery, such as a lumpectomy or mastectomy, but it can also be performed as a separate procedure. Now we all have lymph nodes in our armpits, and how many we have varies from one person to the next. Some may have around 10, others may have around 30. We can't really tell. Now the number of sentinel lymph nodes we remove may also vary between one to four. Very occasionally we may take more. So how can we as surgeons tell which nodes are the sentinel lymph nodes? Well, two things need to happen. Firstly, before the surgery, so that's either the day before or on the morning of surgery, a nuclear medicine specialist will inject a small amount of radioactive substance called technetium-99 that's injected into the breast. Then, when the patient is asleep, we inject a small amount of dye called patent blue, just underneath the skin of the breast, close to the nipple areas. Now, these two substances will travel through the lymphatic system of the breast towards the sentinel lymph nodes, helping the surgeon locate them. So we make a small incision in the armpit and using a special probe, we listen to a high pitch noise, a bit like this. The louder the noise, the closer we are to the sentinel lymph nodes. And at the same time, we are also looking for blue nodes as the blue dye stains the sentinel lymph node blue. So the aim is to find node or nodes that is very loud and is blue. And this is how we find them. We will then send them to the lab for analysis. So how about the surgery itself? It is usually performed under general anesthesia, meaning you'll be asleep and you shouldn't feel any pain during the procedure. And the actual procedure itself can take anything between 30 to 45 minutes, depending on the number of sentinel nodes that need to be removed. The incision is generally quite small and there should really be only minimal scarring. In terms of recovery, it is usually pretty quick. You may experience some soreness, bruising or mild discomfort at the site of the incision, but this is usually manageable with simple pain relief. It is not uncommon to feel sharp and shooting pains 
along the upper part of your underarm, close to your armpit, and this usually settles. In terms of side effects, you may develop a seroma, which is a collection of fluid just underneath the skin around the site of surgery, and if it persists, we can remove this with a needle and syringe. And another side effect is lymphedema, which is swelling of the hand, arm, and you can check out actually a video on lymphedema, which I have recently uploaded, so you can find out more about this condition. So, what do the results mean? If no cancer cells are found in the sentinel nodes, it is unlikely that the cancer has spread to other lymph nodes, and so no further lymph node surgery is usually necessary. However, if cancer is detected in the sentinel nodes, additional lymph nodes may need to be removed, or further treatments may be recommended. And this may mean radiotherapy, chemotherapy, or as I said, surgery to the armpit where we actually may remove all of the glands from the axilla. And this is also known as an axillary nodal clearance. Again, I've also made a video specifically talking about this, so do check it out to learn more about it.